Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Um, <laughs> disbelieving, to be perfectly honest. It is... I feel shaky. I feel like... No, I, I, it, life has yet to catch up with me. Reality, I'm, I'm a little bit behind the beat. That's amazing. I mean, you've been, you know, you've been at BAFTA before. You were up for uh, TV BAFTAs three different times, I think. Um, what does it mean to you to win a film BAFTA? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to be honoured by BAFTA in film as a leading actress is the highest accolade I could ever aspire to. And it makes me think of all those wonderful actors and actresses who've been before me and those I work with every day and how much I feel the honour of being an actor, genuinely, that it is something that is a very special, almost secretive world that we all know um, amongst ourselves. And I just never imagined that I would receive this honor. It's amazing. Genuinely. I mean, it's, it's well-deserved, it's an extraordinary film. Yeah. Um, your performance was just heartbreaking in Aftermath. I wonder if you could sort of share what were the things that attracted you to the role? I think the first thing was that it's a story I had never heard told in one way, and in another way, it's an ancient story of lost and found. But to see it in the coordinates of modern life, um, of contemporary society, met with such freshness, um, with such, such an intense gaze on what our society could, is. And I don't think anybody, and how, how indeed Mary, the character I play, is an overlooked person. And it's a, the story about not judging a book by its cover, about hidden depths, about being everybody coming into their own sense of self and finding respect for themselves by going on that journey that she goes on across. All you need to do, guys, is go from Dover to Calais and back again. You know, it is a really incredible thing. I once hoped to swim that channel, and in a strange way, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this one first, sorry. What will be will be. I mean, I'm hoping that, of course, we, we look for opportunities. We look for working with exciting, creative people. But I also think that it's important to keep a sense of all, the whole scale of cinema. Um, from short film, I hope I'm going to get offered a really chunky, exciting short film. You know, that it's that, but it's also, you know, my Bond audition. You know, it, it, it's, it's from a short film to a Bond audition. It's whatever. It's what... It's what it's doing your thing and that working in a way that creatively produces something that means something to other people. That's, that's all I really want to be doing till the day I die. Well, film, film and TV are changing, aren't they? So I guess I'll be changing with it. I mean, some of those boundaries are, are collapsing. Um, and the way that we tell stories is changing because of the platforms that we're receiving those stories through. So I'm just going to go with that flow, ride that wave, um, and be, I hope, at the epicenter of the best work. That's where I'm hoping one, neither one nor the other. One question here first, sorry. Well, I mean, he has such a beginner's mind. He's approached this with his own uncompromising, totally uncompromising vision. And he's told his own story in, a, in um, an extraordinary way, of course, disguised in this wonderful, you know, psychological thriller with, with lots of uh, emotion in there. But it's his own story. And I think that the wonderful thing when you're debuting, as he has done with this, is it comes straight from your solar plexus, the very middle of you. And I'm hoping that Alim's going to have more and more opportunities to tell more and more interesting stories, because he puts things together. 
in the most extraordinary way. Nobody else sees it like that. Um, but I also think that he's an inspiration to many other people who might want to tell their story in their way. So I think that's the very exciting thing about Aline Khan. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're all out of time, but thank, uh, you. thank you so much to Joanna and the campaign. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. The Scanlon as Bond campaign starts here. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.